Hello. What do you want for dessert tonight? You know I love pies, but sometimes I just like to keep it simple. So today I'm going to simply roast some stone fruit that I picked up at the farmer's market, serve it with a dollop of mascarpone, and I'm going to be happy and so will you. First thing you need to do is poke some holes in some stone fruit. This helps when you roast it, the skin's not burst. I assume that's what it's for. This is a very loose style dessert. You could grill them if you wanted to also. That would be delicious. But I'm just removing the pit and then cutting the fruit into quarters. Next to corn, tomatoes, and basils, peaches are my absolute favorite thing to get at the farmer's market. And I cannot resist buying them every single time I go. Don't you think it's beautiful? Don't you love stone fruit? I could make a song about stone fruit and how much I love it. But I recommend for this dessert getting whatever kind of fruit is in season, smells delicious, and looks fantastic. The plums are kind of small, so I think I'll probably just cut those in half. Do with it what you want. This is your dessert. I'll be making this forever, because it's so easy. Everything goes on a baking sheet. You can do it in a 9 by 13 inch baking dish, or you can do it on one of these um, rim baking sheets. I like a rim baking sheet. Lower sides for more caramelization. Dot the top with two tablespoons of butter. That's gonna really help thicken the juices and make it all silky and delicious. Place two sprigs of rosemary on the top. Send its aromaticness into the fruit and then you remove it at the end. It adds a really nice, mmm, what's the aroma? I smell the woods. <laughs> but it's really delicious. You can totally leave it out if you don't want it. And then two to three tablespoons of sugar. Sprinkle over the top. I'm gonna do three tablespoons. The fruit is plenty sweet, but the sugar adds great caramelization in the oven. Need a little bit of lime juice, and then sprinkle that lime juice over the top. Oh, this is good flavoring, I like it. I could just eat this right now, I'm telling you that. And this starts the juices flowing for great cooking and makes it so that it doesn't burn and adds some nice acidity. It's an excellent balance. Put these in a 400 degree oven, 20 minutes approximately. After about 20 minutes, when they're nice and soft, and just turn the broiler on for about one to two minutes for extra caramelization. That's the way I like it. See how it's got some little brown spots on it? That's what I'm looking for. It's gonna be fantastic. Who's excited? I'm excited. You can discard the rosemary now, as I demonstrated earlier. Spoon some fruit into your bowl. Get a little bit of each. Some peach, some nectarine, some plum. Some of those delectable buttery juices. And then for the pièce de résistance, as I like to say, a little bit of mascarpone, a nice dollop on top. You could use sour cream, whipped cream, ice cream, anything that appeals to you. Maybe a little bit more of those juices. And you're gonna be really happy that you made this dessert and it only took 20 minutes. People will be clamoring for more. <laughs> Who needs pie?